a bold way to stop mass shootings. Historically, there have been mass shootings long before any of you viewers were born. However, it appears there are even more these days than ever. Why is that? Well, some reasons could be, internet access, social media, sensationalized news, the glamorizing of harmful stupidity, and the capability for mentally unstable people around the world or just within the United States alone, to easily band together with nefarious intentions in mind. Add to that, an insecure person's or attention whore's desperate need to be accepted, liked or even loved, and you've got a recipe for potential trouble. Did it ever occur to you that more senseless killings appeared to happen after the advent of easier social connectivity and the growth of news media channels? But, don't get me wrong. Social media and technological innovations are blessings especially if they are low-cost or free. But. And this is a big but. Like a lot of wonderful things and situations being made available to help or entertain. There is such a thing as the abuse and misuse of it. Instead of being a means to improving the quality of life, it becomes problematic. It's like this. Have you ever been in a room with several others, where the host or teacher asked a question, but everyone hesitated to raise a hand until someone else raised theirs first, and only after was when more people began participating? You see, there is strength in numbers. Confidence levels are higher, and people are more bolder, knowing that they are not alone with their evil thoughts and efforts. So, similarly, when one insane person bands with others alike, there is a sense of unity, shared anger, hatred and frustration, and the increased chance that he or she will carry out these heinous acts. Equally alarming, is a person's sense of need to be cemented in history books, be it for good or bad reasons, fueling the urge to do whatever that potential killer wants to do. So how can mass shootings be possibly stopped, or at least, be slowed down? One potential way, is maybe, refraining from publicly mentioning the killer's name and not showing photos of that person on any news or social media outlets. Maybe, simply resorting to generic references of the killer, such as referring only as he or she, could thwart a future killer's need to be famous. Also, a lot of these criminals, prior to going on a killing spree, tend to go on social media platforms, forums, etc. to boast about what they are about to do. With that said, could assigning undercover agents the task to monitor and report potential dangers be another preventive solution? Maybe, if potential murderers see that there isn't a significant way to be known or martyred, this could prevent terrible crimes from materializing. So, what are your thoughts? Fantasy? Fallacy, or reality? You be the judge. My name is Theo Rist, the Wonderbot. Please comment below and press the like icon if the video sparks a thought. Also, if you'd like to be notified as soon as a new video goes live, simply press on the bell icon after you've subscribed. I'm Theo Rist. And thanks again.